You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. My name's Daniel Bushel. In this show, the junk food conspiracy exposed. Coming up. Leaders chew the fat and secretly fill their pockets. How other species react to burgers. And stars told to kick out junk ads. The epidemic in the fattest nation on earth is spiraling out of control. While Europe and Asia weight levels are tailing off, over two in three Americans are now overweight or obese and growing. Stores now provide obesicles, vehicles for those too obese to walk. For the junk food giants responsible, the fat ladies about to sing. First celeb chef Jamie Oliver shamed McDonald's into banning pink slime, ammonia soaked centrifuge separated byproduct paste they labeled beef. New York Mayor's Bloomberg's blocked 17 ounce sodas. Bans on supersized fries, burgers, ice creams and donuts will now be rolled out across the US starting in the Big Apple. New York to regulate other high fat and high calorie foods within a year. Restrictions will go global as other governments follow suit. States are even looking into the big one, a fat tax. Research finds 18% taxes on pizza and soda shrinks people five pounds a year. Tracy Fox helped create nutrition standards at the US Department of Agriculture. Those types of taxes, especially if they're, like you said, about the 20% range between 10 and 20%, can have an impact. And they do cause people to purchase and consume less of the item that's being taxed. For example, sugar-sweetened beverages or sodas. Shamed by films showing the sick effects of their food, junk producers are now rushing to rebrand a so-called low-fat and diet. Well, here's the secret about so-called diet food, and it's actually hilarious that it's called that because most diet food contains what's known as aspartame or similar name or sucralose. And it's been found in numerous studies that actually diet soda products can actually lead to kidney damage, metabolic problems, and obesity. The studies found that uh, kidney damage was experienced in those who drank diet soda, whereas those who drank regular soda, which by no means is healthy, did not experience the same issues. The best part about it, aspartame is actually made from the fecal matter, the literal fecal matter of bacteria that is genetically modified by one and only Monsanto. The word diet isn't even regulated in the US. A corporation can make this beauty and call it diet goodness. In fact, McDonald's pays Weight Watchers to be an official partner. Truth is stranger than fiction. This fruit and maple oatmeal sold as a bowl full of wholesome. It's more sugar than a Snickers, more calories than even their hamburgers. The junk chain's being sued for false advertising. Its milkshakes contain more cooking oil than milk. In fact, of 150 so-called diet products, 139, a study finds, have more fat and refined sugar than non-diet foods. Most of our food now contains either a chemical sweetener or fructose sugar, which America's top obesity doc calls an evil poison. Robert Lustig joins us now. What does refined sugar do to the body? It is a chronic, <clears throat> not acute, chronic, dose-dependent, in other words, it depends on how much you take in, hepato liver toxin. Chronic, dose-dependent, hepatotoxin. Yeah, what does that mean for us, the public? 50 grams of fructose, which is the sweet part of sugar per day, or 100 grams of sugar, is <clears throat> above and beyond your liver's capacity to be able to metabolize it. That means that more than half of America is consuming a toxic dose of sugar on a daily basis. This is Trudy, the truth seeker cat. Hello, Trudy. This is fried beef from a top fast food chain. Well, well, well. This is fried beef from a local store. There you go. She's loving it. 
Even fungus won't touch fast food. This is a slice from a fresh potato we bought months ago. Age and decay has turned it black and rotten. This McDonald's french fry was bought the same day. It remains identical. One American even has a museum of burgers that ain't changed in decades. So why won't bacteria eat it? It doesn't even contain real meat. It contains seven different synthetic chemicals that make up the quote meat of the product, including what's known as PDMS, which is in breast plants, in the breast uh, implant fluid that many surgeons now are avoiding because of the possible serious health effects. It also contains an anti-foaming agent used in silly putty, and it contains certain chemicals that are illegal to use in cat food due to serious health concerns. Why America's obesity campaign is a sham after we pay these bills. You can be sexy, popular, everything you want to be. Crack, 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 cola, and stroke burger. Stroke burger and crack cola. Heart stopping. From cereal to drinks, even soup, the main sweetener is cheap high fructose corn syrup. It's everywhere. Unlike normal sugar, fructose goes straight to the liver, which turns it to fat. Blindness, cancer, and strokes from obesity now top smoking as the number one hospital case. If your idol told you to do something when you were a kid, would you do it? Europe's fattest state is Britain. Its top obesity doc says this must stop. A football star or a cartoon star um, saying to kids, kids, this is what you should be eating, and pointing at an unhealthy product is deeply wrong, and it should be banned. If our leaders are so serious about this, why are these ads still on? Why is America's obesity getting worse? Could our politicians be in cahoots with junk food more now than ever and are releasing just a few publicity stunts to keep people on side? The uh, health care ministers of 52 European countries got together and agreed that junk food marketing to children must stop because children were targets. Here in America, it's considered free speech, part of the First Amendment. It, that right is supported. Uh, this is a huge problem. I went to the commissioner of the Federal Communications Commission here in America, Deborah Taylor Tate, back in 2007, and asked, in light of what the European healthcare ministers had said, what did she think needed to be done? And her response was a direct quote, I expect the food industry to police itself. Well, that's what they've been doing now for the past 30 years, and look where it's gotten us. Free speech doesn't work with addictive substances. It didn't work with tobacco, doesn't work with heroin, cocaine, morphine, nicotine, cannabis, alcohol. The fact is that free speech is a problem when you're talking about addictive substances. The question is, is sugar an addictive substance? The data, mostly in animals, but some in humans, clearly says yes. Interagency government committee, the interagency um, work group, got together and developed voluntary standards or voluntary guidelines for companies um, to abide by or to opt to abide by to address marketing. And the food companies um, basically weighed in very negatively and forced those interagency guidelines to never be published, even though they were just going to be voluntary. Junk giants have even made Congress classify squirt cheese pizza as a vegetable, so it served as a key nutrient in school meals. The junk food industry doubled their lobbying uh, spending with the, under the Obama administration, and in turn the Obama administration announced that they were lowering the fight on childhood obesity. And Michelle Obama recommends that kids go out and eat these certain dietary guidelines that actually contain GMOs most of the time, these processed garbage foods. And isn't it interesting that Bloomberg had uh, truckloads of Mountain Dew and Doritos shipped into the Sandy Relief uh, Fund area to give these people a bunch of processed garbage snacks that do nothing for nutritional value. In fact, Bloomberg has form on fast food. His corporation had vats filled with free junk for every employee. Within weeks, workers piled on the pounds. In Bloomer world, a 17-ounce soda's bad. 68 hot dogs in 10 minutes isn't just good, 
It's patriotic. The unalienable rights bestowed on us by our forefathers. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. For the contestants assembled here, that pursuit includes consuming as many hot dogs as is humanly possible. Elected politicians putting hot dogs over health, fattening bottom lines instead of trimming Americans. My friends, the information that you are about to witness from all of my years of research is the most important. It's been hidden in plain view the entire time. This is the ultimate secret, and it's about to be exposed. I have hundreds of government documents, textbooks, white papers, where for over 80 years, the elite of the Western world have talked about adulterating food and water to sicken and sterilize the population for the purpose of eugenics. It's all covered in the book, Ecoscience, written by the White House science czar, John P. Holdren, where they talk about a planetary police state to carry out the forced sterilization. They also talk about covert systems in the water and food to sterilize the population. Now, this was written decades ago, before he was White House science czar. Now, suddenly, the stuff in this book is all over the news. They're selling it to the public as if it's a good thing. You see here before you what an average person would buy when they went shopping at the store. Not everything here is bad for you, but much of it has compounds and artificial chemicals that have been added that are extremely toxic and bad for your health. And they have known this the entire time and they have approved them for use. Let's start with aspartame. You cannot go to the grocery store now and buy any type of even regular sugar gum that hasn't had aspartame added to it. In the 1970s, Searle tried to get it approved and they couldn't. It took them three separate times because in their own studies with monkeys, large portions of them that were fed it died and contracted cancer. Now we have mainstream news articles and the EU has done a major study finding lower birth weights, early birth, and yes, miscarriages from women that drink aspartame-laden soft drinks like Coke Zero. What is aspartame? It is the fecal matter of the E. coli bacteria. They took it and genetically engineered it. They can feed it toxic waste, and then it defecates aspartame. And it has so many bad health effects, it's just unspeakable. This is being done by design. It's also very, very addictive. But let's just go ahead and move away from aspartame and talk about McDonald's and chicken McNuggets. Now, I remember a decade ago or so reading health advisories claiming that a form of plastic uh, that's used in silly putty, basically a type of silicone, was in the chicken McNuggets, but also in many other TV dinners and other foods. It is illegal in every other nation in the world to add these chemicals to the food, but it's not in the United States. The big secret is all of this was done by design by the FDA. Look at all the drugs they've approved, and then it comes out later that they knowingly approve them when these drugs are causing heart attacks and cancer. In the Nuremberg trials, it came out that the Nazis were adding sodium fluoride to the water supply in the labor camps and death camps to make the population more docile and controllable. There had been hundreds of university studies before Hitler even came to power. This is a form of forced medication. They admit that one part per million of sodium fluoride more than doubles the chance of bone cancer in boys and men. As the public became educated in the last few decades, the government industry's response was to not just put it in water, but to start adding it to thousands of products like children's water that's mixed with their formula or with their cereal. They started adding as much as 900 parts per million in things like powdered eggs. It causes reductions in IQ. It increases sterility 
or lack of fertility. And it's being added to so many of the daily staples that we consume. We'll get back to food additives in a moment. But first, I wanted to look at genetically modified organisms. Did you know for many years the American people have been eating cloned beef and pork, and now they're expanding out into other forms of meat? Let's look at salmon first. Major university studies conclusively have proven that the type of genetically modified salmon that is actually a cross species, they've mixed other uh, animal genes in with it, that when this fish is introduced with wild natural salmon, within 40 generations, all the natural salmon are extinct. And the FDA approved this. And they're going to allow it to be released into the wild that isn't even a salmon. It is a cross species chimera. It is a mixture like something out of the island of Dr. Maru, something out of a nightmare. More than 85% of the corn now consumed in the United States, and it's also starting to trend that way in Europe and Canada, is genetically engineered. It grows its own pesticide uh, within the corn kernels so that insects won't eat it. If the insects can't eat this and live, what do you think is going to happen when lab rats or humans eat it? We have literally hundreds of studies showing that not just Monsanto's, but other major GMO companies' corn, and that's the majority of corn we're now eating today in the United States, has been linked to organ failure in lab animals. The studies also show massive increases in sterility in rats and guinea pigs that are fed not just GMO corn, but GMO cotton seeds. Studies in India, Germany, and the United States have conclusively shown that when they feed the cotton seeds left over from the cotton crop from these genetically modified varieties, that the cows are having miscarriages, they are having low birth weights, or in many cases, they're simply dying. And what is in most processed foods? Genetically modified cottonseed oil. Major studies are also showing that genetically engineered crops are killing honeybees and monarch butterflies. But they don't stop there. Now they claim they're coming out with a genetically engineered mosquito that's malaria-proof that they're going to release into the open biosphere. The very genetic code of the planet is being butchered in a hostile corporate takeover. Many years ago, an executive from Monsanto was quoted in National Geographic as saying that that is their program that they want to basically have their crops and their organisms take over the entire biosphere of this planet. And the major genetic engineer companies have focused mainly on eight major food crops. Now they're expanding out into hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other plants, literally changing the genetic code of the planet. This is a genetic dictatorship. This is genetic vandalism. And that's why the Rockefellers, the United Nations, and others have built these giant armored seed vaults all over the world, not just at the Arctic Circle. And they admit they're doing it in case all of this gets out of hand, that they'll have a type of no was ARC. So all these fake environmental groups, they never complain about this. They never talk about true environmental degradation. They want to put a tax on carbon dioxide that humans exhale, that plants respirate from and carry out photosynthesis with as a way to shut down industrial society and control every facet of our lives. That's the big secret. This is a population reduction program. It is an epidemic. The sperm count has dropped in the Western world exponentially. Even the government has been predicting within another generation, almost everyone is going to be sterile. This is the globalist religion. This is their philosophy. They want the planet for themselves. The UN has said that their stated plan is an 80% population reduction. You've heard Ted Turner call us useless eaters and feeders and say that 80% of us need to be killed. You've heard Prince Philip say he wants to come back as a virus uh, to kill the majority of the world population. Dr. Eric Pianca, Peter Singer, it's all over the news where they tell us that we should only have one child because more than one is bad for the environment and that the recession is good for lowering our carbon footprint. This is the big secret. We live in a scientific dictatorship. 
and the United States and England are the epicenter of this, and it's expanding worldwide. Remember all the secret testing, all the secret sterilization that went on in the United States and Europe. Remember what Hitler did. He learned all of that from the eugenicist and the Rockefeller family in the United States. This is a culture of death being pushed on you and your family. And even if you think the world is overpopulated, you need to understand that you're being targeted by this as well. Targeted by design. Recombinant bovine growth hormone in your milk, making eight-year-old girls go into puberty, when they should be going into puberty at 12 or 13. Silicone in chicken McNuggets and hundreds and hundreds of other processed foods. Aspartame, that is the feces of genetically engineered bacteria that has incredible health problems that have been proven. Think for yourself. It goes on and on. ABC News, this goes back four years ago. Viral meat spray, advancing food safety. They spray a live virus on the meat to supposedly kill the bacteria. This is a live vaccine they spray on most of the meat you're consuming that you're buying from the store. It gets even worse. The petroleum distillates or toxic waste that's left over from petroleum refineries that refine oil into gasoline, they take these tens of millions of pounds of toxic waste that's left over, the fluoride, the mercury, the lead, and they dump it on crops as supposed fertilizer. And what do crops like tomatoes and corn and potatoes do? They pull in all of those toxins out of the ground. In fact, scientists for many years have used plants to actually detoxify uh, areas that have been contaminated. And those plants are pulling all of this up and then you are eating it. That's why the Washington Post reported in January of 2008 that a major study found that nearly a third of the 55 popular brand name foods and beverage products were filled with mercury. Despite the fact that the people of Europe for over 20 years have fought off all the genetically modified wheat and corn and other crops being planted in their nation. Now the EU is buckled and is accepting it. The United States is literally a testing ground for all of this. It's just automatically approved. And the people that work for these corporations, they're compartmentalized. They don't know what's going on. The people that work at these stores, they have no idea what's happening. This is affecting all of us. This is hurting everyone. Many different forms of cancer are growing by thousands of percentage points. Uh, diabetes, all these different diseases, and in major studies, it's all been linked to the toxic additives that are in our food, our water. And I haven't even had time to get into MSG. I mean, I've interviewed brain surgeons, uh, neurologists, scientists. I mean, it just devastates the brain. It's an excitotoxin. It destroys the liver, and it is in tens of thousands of products. We can say no. We can stand up. But if you've got a neighbor giving fluoride water to their baby, please go over and warn them. If you got a neighbor that's sitting there eating MSG filled chips one after the other, warn them. You've got a responsibility. If you know people that are feeding processed foods filled with GMO, warn them. And for God's sakes, don't give it to your own children. If you want to kill yourself, that's your own business. But don't hurt your children. Don't do this, ladies and gentlemen. In closing, I want to talk about some positive things. Just 15 years ago or so, you couldn't find organic food anywhere on store shelves. And now, about half of what you see is organic. Uh, just a few years ago, all the milk uh, had the uh, growth hormone in it. Now, it's hard to find milk that has the growth hormone in it because the consumers have spoken and said no. A few years ago, you couldn't find toothpaste that didn't have sodium fluoride in it. Now, Tom's of Maine is starting to you know, take over the aisle space and displace uh, the other mainline toothpaste makers where it says on the back, if you swallow this, call poison control immediately. Even Colgate is now putting out fluoride-free toothpaste. People are demanding that they not be poisoned, and they're finding out about what's going on. And so industry is starting to respond and at least give people who want a choice an option to not be forcibly medicated through the food and the water. You know cigarettes are bad for you, but just 20 years ago, the cigarette makers were getting up before Congress and saying it was a conspiracy theory that it was killing people. And then later it came out in their internal documents, they knew it was deadly. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I've seen the studies. Much of what they're putting in our food and water is far worse than even cigarettes, as bad as they are, one of the biggest killers in this country. This is a covert, soft kill operation. We'll put a lot of links beneath this video so you can check out the facts for yourself. And I'm just begging you to do your own research and find out that one of the most dangerous places in the world is your grocery store and the tap water in your house. Ultimate secret exposed up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And I want to add now an addendum to this 15-minute piece that we're also posting in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv right now. Maryland bans chemical BPA linked to medical issues. And it says not only is it linked to impotency, but its more serious side effects were highlighted Thursday as a ban on the substance came into effect in Maryland. Maryland was the fourth U.S. state to ban the chemical bisphenol A, commonly known as BPA, which was linked to early puberty, childhood obesity, autism, reproductive problems, breast cancer, and other medical issues like sterility. The chemical is often found in baby bottles and is common in clear plastic food and drink containers. BPA is thought to leach into the container contents when heated. Thousands of different formulas of plastic. This was the one adopted in the last 50 years worldwide. We'll finish up with this, get into food irradiation, meat, produce, you name it. When we come back, this is key information. Stay with us. Food, the ultimate secret revealed. Now, a lot of you already know this information, but we've presented it with the documents, with the mainstream news articles, uh, with images of uh, what is in these different foods and what's being put in your water. And we show images of the large packages of fluoride that says deadly poison on it that's being put in your water supply. Everyone needs to see this because the general public is not aware of just how serious this is. It's not just that, oh, junk food's bad for you or too much fluoride's bad for you. This is being put in there by design. We have the government white papers and corporate and university and UN documents. We cover it in my film, Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement. This is the major issue. And here's Fox News. Maryland bans chemical BPA. And it goes on uh, to say that it's for only babies. Well, fluoride hurts children and babies, the studies show, a lot more than it hurts adults. But you don't hear that being banned. No, they push it on children. In fact, we have government documents that Aaron showed me last night that I intend to do a piece on next week where they're actually at many public schools in England and the U.S. have fluoride uh, systems hooked up, not making it one part per million, but four parts per million. And, you know, they come into the schools with those little red fluoride pills. I remember when that would happen to me in first and second grade. I would take it and then get sick and have a headache and be throwing up by the time my mom picked me up after school. And no one ever put two and two together. And, and the teachers and dentists think they're helping you. But this is an IQ reduction. Fluoride also attacks and sterilizes you. Fox News goes on. Meanwhile, Berlin-based urologist Professor Frank Sommer told the London Daily Telegraph on Tuesday that men could ingest enough BPA from its use in receipts alone. It's, it's commonly used as the black ink to suppress male hormones in the body and reduce fertility or even sterilize you. That's Fox News. Here is the Baltimore Sun. Senate passes BPA ban in bottles, cups for small children. There's no reason. This has been chosen and adopted because it's meant to sterilize you. Now, continuing, if you just search the term food irradiation, you'll learn the EPA approved this in the last decade, and they're irradiating beef, poultry, fish, uh, produce, and it destroys the food value. It breaks the ring structures in the food, and it's basically dead food you're now eating, and it loses most of its nutritional value. That's another issue uh, that we didn't even get into uh, in this piece. And 
the list just goes on and on and on. There are hundreds of petrochemical distillates, the leftovers of oil uh, refining, that are put as, quote, flavor enhancers and things to uh, preserve food as preservatives that are highly toxic. And that's that processed food taste that, that you become accustomed to. But once you've stopped eating a lot of processed food, it tastes like crud. I remember when I was a kid eating processed food going, mm, what's that kind of dirty taste, that spicy, toxic taste that you eat in processed foods? Well, it's, it's things like the chemical in city, uh, Silly Putty. And, and, and that's not Alex Jones saying that. That's CNN admitting, oh, Silly Putty plastic chemical, a, a type of silicone is in all these different processed foods, these different TV dinners, Chicken McNuggets, Taco Bell shells. What came out a few years ago about Taco Bell? They had on their store shelves what they were selling people at the fast food restaurant, the Starlink corn that wasn't even approved for humans, and they had to recall it because the, the violent reactions people had were so bad they couldn't cover it up. And the government approves it. These corporations are advised to use it. It's cheap, and they do. Please investigate this for yourself and get that video and get it out to everyone today. It is so important that we warn everyone. We can beat these people if we do it together.